back from the dead. That kind of sucks. It's my second time filming this video. I had done a great setup, a great intro in the beginning, but one sec. Let me check that thing. Okay. Hopefully you can hear my voice because I haven't uh, taken any... Yeah, you can hear my voice because I haven't taken any microphone because I was very lazy to do that, so I didn't do it. Please don't judge me. I'm coming with great uh, information. How to get free flights. So, how to get free flights. Um credit card <laughs> okay credit card is one of the way and it's the one way that i uh used so as you know i moved from ontario to edmonton from barry to edmonton actually and uh when i came here i had to um pay for a couple of stuff so i had to pay for to ship my stuff here which was not a lot because i don't have a lot of things i don't like to have a lot of things uh, but I had to pay for that. I have to pay a deposit for here. I had to pay for the month. I had to buy this great bed that I'm on to. So I didn't want to pay more money for the flights. Um, and I remembered that I have points for my credit card. And I specifically took a credit card that would allow me to travel. So what does that mean, a credit card that allows you to travel? So you have different credit cards for different things. So but normally the one that students go with is the student credit card which has no annual fee and uh, it helps you build your credit score it helps you build your credit full stop why build your credit this is another story basically it helps you with learn and whatnot and line of credit buying a house and all this kind of thing knowing what kind of <clears throat> candidate you are um i will leave that for another video if you are interested in credit card but credit card is not as bad as everyone makes you think it is. Proof is that it allowed me to have a free flight here. So other types of credit card is when you get cash back. So when you make a purchase, you get a percentage of that money back. And you can use it on other stuff as grocery or going to the theater and whatnot. But I chose one which allowed me to travel. Yes. I knew that I wanted to do it at some point in my life. Because I've always wanted to travel, I've always wanted to explore. Thing is that I was always focused on work, which I still am. Uh, if you don't know it, this I have two jobs at the moment. But I have other priorities that is coming in the way as well. This is another discussion. If you want to know a little bit more about my mental health, which I'm pretty sure you don't want to know. You have other things to do in your life. Uh, just check my previous video uh yeah so basically uh look for credit card with the biggest sign of bonus the one i have is the avion one it's going to hide my information here is the avion one which is with rbc and um uh, at that at the time when i was looking for it it, the, it did not have a lot of the annual fee was not that much it was 120 bucks per year which equals to 10 bucks per month which is okay for me given that i can have points and uh and i can have a free flight and the way it works is that when you make a purchase these points goes towards uh miles for air miles and you're you're going to say like oh my god how many purchases i need to do for that so first of all Take one with a biggest sign of bonus. They're going to give you a bonus of like a number of points when you sign up. Look for the highest one. At that time, it was BMO and RBC. I went with RBC for I forgot which reason. And I look at the reviews. I did my little research first. For now, I'm not disappointed with it. Um, unfortunately, I don't have an affiliate link. I wish I could have dropped that in the box below, but that's okay. I'll leave. Um, yeah. So big sign of bonus and then just put your everyday purchases. So at that time I had to pay bills at pay tuition for college, which was eight grand per semester. So this helped, or you can pay every other stuff like groceries, like don't get into debt just because of that. Just do your everyday purchases with your credit card and then please 
remembers that you don't want to be owning money on your credit card. You don't want to go above the 30%. Uh, I will talk about credit. If you really want to know, I can talk about credit cards. But basically, this is how it is. You have enough for your um, to have your rewards. So you go on the app, and then you can book your you can check and book your flight exactly as you have you would have done it with WestJet or Air Canada. You did by yourself. Now, if you're lost, you can always call them, call the bank, ask them to book the flight for you. But um, they're going to charge you thirty bucks, which I don't want to. But if you want, go ahead. Another thing, which is a bit weird but it is what it is. So when they're paying for the flight, it's just paying for the flight. Uh, you have to pay for the seat as well, which is not too much. I paid for a window seat, 28 bucks, which was okay for me, compared to the price ticket, the price that I have for flight. There are other credit cards that allow you to have other stuff, such as accommodation, hotel, and whatnot. I was very happy with the flight. So yeah, here you go. It was a very short video and uh, I really wanted to do it, but as you know, I don't put something out there if I haven't tried it.